Hi everybody, Randy Haber for SoCal Gold Live here at Lake Elsinore uh, Storms home field, the Diamond. And with me, my guests for the High Desert Mavericks, their sh uh, shortstop, uh, Nick Franklin. Nick, how you doing? What do you think about this 2011 High Desert team? Uh, you know, I think it's going well so far. You know, I think we got a good team. You know, our comfortability level with all the guys has been real nice. You know, been bonding in the clubhouse and, you know, just kind of looking forward, you know, early in the season to uh, get some wins and hopefully we can, um, you know, make a spot for the playoff run. But uh, for right now, we're just trying to, you know, stay comfortable, trying to get used to the team just a little bit more, head, new head coach, and, uh, you know, just go out there and play, you know, try to play our game and play hard. Now, you signed right out of high school, Lake Brantley High School, I believe that's in Florida. Uh, how come your, you know, your transition to the pro ball went so well? How come it was so easy for you to do? Uh, you know, I just, honestly, I've been, you know, growing up playing baseball all my life and, you know, just really having a great time just playing it, you know. Um, and also in high school, I used a wood bat, not, not in high school games, but throughout high school, you know, I played with, you know, wood bat tournaments and, uh, you know, played with the wood bat all the time. So I'm just kind of used to the wood bat. And, uh, you know, I just I try not to think about anything else and, you know, just go out there and play. You know, I know there's a difference between high school and college players, but at the same time, you know, we're just as anybody else. You know, we're just a player. We're just trying to go out there and uh, live a dream and, you know, try to make the best of it. Now, the Mariners have you rated on their depth chart as the number three player uh, in their minor league system behind Dustin Ackley and uh, the pitcher Pineda. Uh, that's got to feel good that they think so highly of you. Oh, yeah, you know, it's definitely uh, an accomplishment, somewhat of, you know, just being number three in the organization. But at the same time, you know, I'm still trying to reach my goals as a player. You know, I'm still a student of the game. And, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to learn more this season and uh, improve on you know my success and hopefully have success throughout my whole career. Now being a switch hitter, does it take you longer to get comfortable than it would be someone else that just uh, hitting from one side? Uh, you know it's 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 twice the work. You know you got to put twice the work in. You know right-handed, uh, then left-handed. If you if I hit better left-handed, you got to put twice as much work in right-handed. Just because you know it's a daily it's a daily thing, and you know it would be it'd be different. You know if you could just work on one side, but you know. To have an advantage about right-handed on left-handers is uh, definitely an advantage, you know, to you. So you know, it's just got to work twice as hard and and make the best of it. Now, how valuable was your time with Team USA back in 08 and 09? How much has that lent to your professional experience? Uh, you know, it's it's really uh, playing for Team USA, playing for your country is just it's really a great feeling. You know, just playing for the United States and trying to to rep the United States and hopefully win a gold medal, but. It definitely was uh, a help playing with Team USA. It was a lot of professional, real professionalism, and, you know, it's just a great experience to have. Now, in 2010, you were the only minor league player to have 20 home runs, 20 doubles, and 20 stolen bases. That's got to be a feather in your cap. You look back at that, you got to feel good about that. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, I, I didn't, at the time, you know, I got, I, I didn't know I was the 2020 guy, and... They told me I was like the first player to do it, and I was like, really? And it, it was just something that came up, and I had no clue of, you know, it just kind of happened. You know, I was just actually just playing the game and, you know, trying to win a game and playing for my team. So, but yes, yeah, so it was a great accomplishment. You know, look back at look backing at it, it's, you know, it was like, wow, you know, like, can't believe I did it. But at the same time, it was just like, you know, just trying to play my game and stay with the, the fundamentals of the game. And what will it take for 2011 to be considered a success for Nick Franklin? Uh, just go out there, play, play hard, play, you know, separate my offense from my defense. That's probably the main thing right now is just separating the offense and the defense. You know, if I have a bad game at the plate, you know, just make sure I'm playing hard D or if I'm having a good game at, on the plate, you know, make sure I'm still playing defense, but at the same time, you know, stay focused. What is it about the state of Florida that produces so many, you know, great players between that and Southern California? I know you could, you know, you could easily say the weather, but it's got to be more than that. There's a passion down in Florida that there isn't in other places in there. You know, Florida is just a great place to play in general, and so is California because, you know, you can play all year round, which I did. There was at one point in my career where I just played high school ball, and then right after high school I had summer ball with, you know, a, a scout team, and then I had fall ball before high school, so it was like year round. You know, it's not like some of the other states where you can get in Minnesota and you got to be indoors or, you know, because it's snowing. So it's just a really nice place, you know, to play just because you can play all year round. Outstanding. I want to thank you so much for being our guest, taking a minute out or two here with SoCal Go Live. We wish you the best of luck in 2011. You're going to do well. Everybody's picking you to do well. And I know you're going to be a favorite of the fans all around the country. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you. All right.
Nick Franklin of the High Desert Mavericks here at uh, Lake Elsinore Storm Diamond, and they got a big contest tonight. It's early in the year, but uh, nonetheless, each game is important if you're thinking about the playoffs.